Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to week two of the CrossFit Open. Workout 19.2 has us doing plenty of toes to bar, double unders, and squat cleans. And I put together a little movement prep for you, so check it out. So one of the first things we wanna work on is to get that toes to bar prep. And I think a dumbbell pullover is just the ticket for that, so follow along. If you get yourself against the wall, we wanna put our knees and hips at 90 so we have something to press against the wall to brace the core. And then from there, we're gonna take a light pedal with dumbbells and we're gonna brace the core down. Take a breath in. Resist on the way to the floor and then bring everything back in front of you. So this is just run of the mill, dumbbell pullover. And we wanna work through two rounds of 20 reps here. Now to prep the lower body for the toes to bar, we're gonna go ahead and put the hands against the wall, brace the core, and then add the leg movement. This will be a gentle way to get the hip flexors ready to go, as well as the one with the lower back a little bit. So same position here. I want you guys to reach above you and press yourself away so that you're still able to press but maintain the core, okay? I don't wanna see any back extension here, okay? No arching. Keep everything braced, both arms above you. Then what we're gonna do is take the legs into a 90 degree position here, and we're gonna reach one leg all the way down, hold, come right back up to neutral position, send the other leg long, hold, bring it right back to the starting position. And these are slow and controlled, making sure that you're keeping the core engaged the entire time. If you feel like you're losing the core, slide up, Grab that wall again, make sure you're locked in, and then again, just go to the point where you feel like you're completely in control of that opposite leg the whole way through. So the next thing we wanna work on is to get the ankle joints prepped for all the double unders. So we're gonna take a band, anchor it to something low to the ground, and you're gonna put it right across the angle of the ankle joint, okay? Right across the crease, take a step forward, we're gonna get into a kneeling position here. The knee is gonna go forward over digits two and three, and then press out of that position. So you're gonna come, hold for a second, press out of that position 20 times, making sure the heel doesn't pop off the ground, okay? If you guys wanna go more towards the outer foot or inner foot, that's fine, but let's try to keep a neutral foot for the majority of this. Then, after 20 reps there, turn and face, and we're gonna have the band just at the very bottom of the Achilles tendon, but above the calcaneal bone, okay? And what we're gonna do here is make sure that we're taking a little step backwards. Again, let the knee navigate forward and then press out of that joint. But on this one, I want you to make sure you sit back a little so that this can actually traction that joint a little bit across the Achilles tendon. Just a little different angle. That way we're warming up the front and the back side here before we hit all those double unders. So one of the next things that we need to prep is gonna be something to help with the squat clean movement. So I think setting an object up like a kettlebell down between the legs for the deep portion of that catch is gonna be really, really crucial. So I want you to feel this out. It's gonna start warming up the hips, the lower back, and the posterior chain. So address the kettlebell, come through, and we're gonna just start in that deep position, come up, squeeze, fight a slow eccentric back down, come back up, by the slow eccentric on the way down. 20 reps here. And you guys can play with if you want your feet wider. Whatever feels good for you and your hips, or some people are gonna wanna go more narrow, depending upon where you're gonna catch those squat and cleans, okay? So we can prep that. And then we can also get into something that's more in the front-loaded variety. So you can still do the same thing. Weights are gonna be down here. And as we set from the bottom position, we're gonna come up, catch, and then we can even finish into like an overhead position. I know we're not necessarily gonna be thrusting, but it'll be good to get everything just warmed up, making sure you're feeling extra good there. After you guys have completed a couple rounds of those mobility drills, it's time to start the workout. Workout 19.2 will begin on an eight minute clock 
to which you'll complete as many reps as possible of 25 toes to bar, 50 double unders, 15 squat cleans at the allocated weight for men and women, 25 more toes to bar, 50 double unders, 13 more squat cleans at an increased weight for the men and women. If you complete all that with before the eight minutes, you'll add four more minutes and move on to the next round. If you complete all of that, you'll add four more minutes and you'll proceed to the next round. And if you complete all that, you'll add four more minutes and proceed to the final round and then you'll stop at the 20 minute mark.